father-in-law Kaido's monster cells create the strongest beasts. 111. Black Arm Zephyr's ruthless justice, Virgo's calculations, Liu Oak Sing appears. Add, the rocks on the islands here are all red because they are all magmatic rocks. Below the island, there is an active volcanic channel. The purpose of Zephyr is to open up the volcanic channel, connect the veins of the endpoints of the three volcanoes, and finally make the submarine volcano completely erupt and destroy the entire new world. Liu Xing activated his sense of sight and quickly sensed the location of the Black Arm Zephyr. He didn't show up, but took Jack and jumped to a hill, looking down at the coast from a far coast. The near marine led by Black Arm Zephyr arrived on this island before Liu crossing. But before they could act, they were caught up by the G5 branch led by Virgo. Zephyr stared gloomily at the three warships slowly approaching him from the sea. Once upon a time, he was a member of that. But the hypocritical world government's approach completely broke his heart. What kind of bullshit justice is 183? To accept the heinous pirate as Shikibukai. What is the use of such justice? Ridiculous. Hypocrisy. Shameless. Zephyr has completely abandoned his decades-long belief and reconstructed the meaning of the word justice. He will use his own way to practice true justice. The G5 warship slowly approached. Zephyr saw Virgo standing at the forefront of the warship, raised his right mechanical arm, and sneered. Sengoku didn't send Admiral to pursue him. I really look down on this old man. Zephyr is a former Marine Admiral after all and to deal with a strong man like him, he must at least send Marine Admiral of the same level. Virgo had no fear on his face. After eating ghost-level monster cells and cultivating frantically during this time, he can challenge Admiral for a short time. In addition, on this island, Lord Liu Oxing has already arrived. What does he have to be afraid of, Virgo? So Virgo said lightly with his arms crossed, Senior Zephyr, Marshal Sengoku was planning to send Admiral, but I took the initiative to ask Ying to arrest you. Add, Zephyr heard this and laughed, little brat. You're very brave. The old man has never seen you in naval headquarters. Tell me, what's your name? Under the G5 branch base chief, Gizu Virgo. The head of a small branch base dares to come and arrest the old man. He doesn't know whether to live or die. 99. The position of the head of the branch base is far inferior to that of the naval headquarters vice admiral, not to mention Zephyr, the former marine admiral. The gap between the two sides in terms of strength is unreasonable. Mr. Zephyr. At this point, Smoker couldn't take it any longer and shouted. Please stop. This world is indeed abominable, but destroying the end of the volcano will only cause more innocent casualties. Zephyr's eyes turned to Smoker, and a smile appeared. Smoker, it's you kid. Among the disciples taught by this old man, your kid's strength is the worst. Zephyr started by talking about the past, as if reminiscing about the days when he was Marine's coach. But the smile on his face soon disappeared, and it became ruthless and cold. Smoker, the old man can tell you in advance that even if you were a student of the old man, if you dare to stop the old man, the old man will not show mercy. Smoker clenched his fists, his eyes grieved. Mr. Zephyr, even if you hurt those innocent civilians, doesn't it matter to you? Zephyr replied nonchalantly, that is the price that must be paid. Otherwise, this era of increasingly crazy pirates cannot be killed. Smoker closed his eyes in despair, knowing that he couldn't stop teacher Zephyr. When Smoker opened his eyes, his eyes had become firm. Although he also loathed the hypocritical world government, he also has his own justice and perseverance. He couldn't allow Teacher Zephyr's insanity to act. Smoker said, In this case, Mr. Zephyr, I can only use the ten hands you gave me back then to send you to the old man's road. Zephyr smiled. Smoker, your tone is as strong as ever, so if you can do it, do it. Smoker really no longer hesitated, turned into a puff of white smoke, and charged towards Zephyr. Add, don't go near Teacher Zephyr. Suddenly many green vines blocked Smoker's path. It was Bins who was one of the carders of Nia Marine. One of the prosperous fruit abilities. The two fought together. Virgo, who had been watching from the sidelines, waved his hand and said. Kill, destroy these marine traitors. Capture the black arms effer, live or die. 35. Boom. Clap clap. Following Virgo's order, the G5 marine immediately began shelling and firing. Not to be outdone. The near marines trophied as much as they could. In an instant, the sound of gunfire resounded through the sky. Tashigai jumped and jumped to the island. Trying to help Smoker, a pretty blue-haired girl stopped in front of her. It is Ain, the fruit of regression. Tashigai was tense all over, and quickly pulled out Kyoshu and aimed it at Ain. The other end, Virgo also took on the Black Arm Zephyr. Both sides are the strongest in their respective camps, and their powerful auras make it difficult for ordinary marines to approach. Virgo took the lead in attacking. The ghost bamboo swept across Zephyr's head. So fast, Zephyr was taken aback by Virgo's speed and did not dare to underestimate him as before. He raised his right mechanical arm to block. Clang, a loud metal crash. The enormous force shattered the rocks on the ground beneath Zephyr's feet. Zephyr's face changed again. Add, when did a small marine branch base manager have such strength? However, Zephyr was a former marine admiral after all, and although he was surprised, he didn't mean to be afraid. His right arm suddenly exerted force, 
Pushing back Virgo's ghost bamboo, aim the muzzle of the robotic arm at Virgo. Smash the shelling. Boom. A violent shock wave burst out. At the critical moment, Virgo covered his entire body with armament haki for defense. But the power of the shock wave was too huge, and his body was still involuntarily thrown upside down by the shock. Zephyr got the upper hand and chased after him, ready to continue to hit Virgo hard. But he didn't see a strange arc in the corner of Virgo's mouth. Virgo was deliberately leading Zephyr to a place where no one was there. That way, Lord Liu Oxen can show up. 5.4 teacher Zephyr, A.I. Yin saw Zephyr's back that was about to disappear, and felt anxious. She knew that, despite Mr. Zephyr's usual tall and mighty appearance, it was because she took her medicine. After all, Mr. Zephyr is an old man in his 70s or 80s, and his health has long since died. Ain, who was worried about Zephyr's body, pushed Tasha Guy back and chased in Zephyr's direction. Don't, don't go. Tasha Guy also chased after Xiaoshi. Smoker next to him also wanted to chase but was entangled by Benzi's vines and couldn't escape. The other sailors are also fighting their own battles. On a distant hill, Liu Xing's eyes flashed, staring at the figures of Tashigai and Dai Yin, and said lightly to Jack behind him, It's our turn to play. A little under his feet, his figure suddenly disappeared in place. 112. Tashigai, the eclipsed Tashigai, the crazy black arm Zephyr, add. Virgo led the black arm Zephyr all the way to the center of the island far from the coast. Virgo stopped and looked at Zephyr with a mocking look. What a pity. Marine X Admiral Zephyr, you had to die here today for my future. What did you say? Zephyr's brows furrowed, a sense of unease and inconsistency welling up in his heart. The other party was clearly suppressed by him just now. Why is he so reckless? Zephyr looked at the empty surroundings and said solemnly, You designed an ambush here in advance? Virgo said, The answer is correct, so you have only one end of death today. After Zephyr was surprised for a while, he looked up to the sky and laughed. Ha ha ha, kid, who do you think I am? I am the black calm Zephyr. You weren't even born when I was at the top of Marine. After saying that, Zephyr rushed towards Virgo. Although the male lion is old, his prestige is still there. Virgo didn't dare to be careless. He covered his entire body with armed colors and fought against Zephyr. Zephyr's right hand robotic arm is made by Sea Stone, and it is specially used to deal with the ability. Zephyr's armament haki level is higher than Virgo's, but due to his aging body, his speed and strength are not as good as Virgo's. Therefore, the two of them fought indistinctly for a while. Wherever he passed, boulders crumbled, mountain peaks fell, and there was great movement. Mr. Zephyr 18. At this time, A.I. Yin, the fruit of regression, came over. She was extremely shocked that Virgo had a relationship with Teacher Zephyr. On the one hand, he was shocked by the unexpectedly powerful strength of Virgo. On the other hand, the physical condition of Mr. Zephyr is shocked, as it deteriorated to such an extent. No. I have to help teacher Zephyr. Ayn pulled out a pistol and tried to help Zephyr. Call out. A sword light suddenly swept from behind. Ad. Ayn hurriedly flashed past, turned round, and glared at the female marine who was chasing after her. Don't get in my way. Tasha Guy held the famous sword Xiaoshu and said firmly, That won't work. The smoker Commodore has made up his mind to stop you. 5. Ayn stopped talking nonsense, and shot Tasha Guy with a bullet. The current Tasha Guy battle experience is not much and the swordsmanship is far from exquisite. She did not expect that Hei Yin would suddenly launch an attack, and she hurriedly dodged in a hurry. Bullets flashed, but no peach flames flashed. Ham Tilda, Tasha Guy, who was hit by the peach-colored flames, suddenly began to shrink sharply. She originally looked like a girl in her twenties, but she instantly turned into a little girl who was only seven or eight years old. Ayn's voice said, I am a retrogressive fruit person. If you are hit by my ability, you will immediately lose your twelve-year-old growth state. Now, you have no ability to resist. Ayn didn't take the opportunity to execute Tasha Guy. After all, she was also marine, so she couldn't be really cruel. Tasha Guy lost her glasses due to her shrinking body. With a high degree of myopia, she suddenly became blind. Squat on the ground and touch the ground. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Then she touched a big hand, still warm. Is the smoker Commodore here to help me? This was Tasha Guy's first thought. But then she was horrified, because her nose smelled it. The unfamiliar smell of the man in front of her was definitely not Smoker. Who are you? Tasha Guy turned pale, and hurriedly stepped back. The big hand directly wrapped her small hand and hugged her whole body, and a gentle voice sounded in her ears at the same time. My name is Liu Oxing, a nice guy who especially likes to help girls in trouble. 35. Hey, these are your glasses. The big hand helped Tasha Guy put on his glasses. Tasha Guy was stunned, and a monstrous wave broke out in his heart. Liu Oxing. This man said his name is Liu Oxing. Could it be? Could it be that the legendary concubine of beasts? The mysterious five emperor Liu Oxing? Add. Tasha Guy raised her face subconsciously and stared dully at the man who was close at hand. Immediately, an even bigger storm surged up in her heart. She has seen this man just a while ago in Lig Town. Yes, at that time this man was walking with a woman with a unique face, watching the execution of Roger, the Pirate King. Captain Smoker was about to catch them, but was almost stunned by this man's look 
and he couldn't even stand. No doubt, the one with such terrifying power is definitely the legendary Five Emperor Liu Oxing. Cold sweat soaked Tasha Guy's back, and her pretty face turned pale in an instant. How did Yuan Liu Oxing appear here? What is the purpose of this terrible man? Tasha Guy only felt that his mind was blank, it was difficult to function, and he didn't even notice that his small body was being held in the other's arms. Liu Oxing is a person who loves flowers but he is by no means the kind of disgusting person who prefers young flower bones. Although Tasha Guy is only seven or eight years old at the moment, his real age is in his twenties, so Liu Oxing has no psychological burden. Back in Lig Town, Liu Oxing had the idea to collect Tasha Guy, a marine lark, but his wife Yamato was there at the time, so he didn't have the chance to do it. Now that the other party has already bumped into his arms, Liu Oxing will naturally not miss it again. Holding the little Tasha Guy, who was in shock and couldn't recover for a long time, in one hand, he walked towards the battle site of Virgo and Zephyr. Zephyr's disciple Lei Yin was also extremely shocked by Liu Oxing's sudden appearance. When she saw the direction Liu Oxing was heading, she immediately shouted loudly, Who are you? What are you going to do? At the same time, peach-colored flames erupted from both hands and hit Liu Oxing. Liu Oxing easily avoided it with a few teleports. Lei Yin was about to move on, when a behemoth suddenly smashed in front of her. Ignorant woman, dare to take action against the young master. Don't you want to live? Lei Yin changed color in shock looked at the behemoth that was more than ten times her height in shock, and exclaimed, you apostrophe re dot 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 you're Jack the Drill of the Beast's Pirates, impossible, why are you here? Jack said disdainfully, that's none of your business. With a big hand, he was about to knock Kane down, add, A. I. Yin was worthy of being Zephyr's disciple. After a brief shock, she hurriedly woke up. She stepped back instantly and patted the surrounding magma pillars with both hands. The original solid magma rock suddenly turned into hot magma. The fruit of her retrogression can not only make a person's state go back twelve years, but also for an inanimate body. But Jack ignored the falling lava. After all, he could bathe in Ake Ainu's lava. So what was this lava? With a slap, Jack slapped Ain far away, and just landed on the place where Zephyr and Virgo fought. Ain, seeing that his beloved disciple was injured, Zephyr roared. However, 183 accidentally revealed a flaw, and was hit in the abdomen by Virgo's armed fist. Zephyr coughed up blood and became more and more angry. The mechanical arm swung out brazenly, hitting Virgo in the face, and the powerful force knocked the latter out. Zephyr came to Ai Yin's side, and saw that Ai Yin was okay, just lost his fighting power, so he felt relieved. Then he stood up and looked at Liu Oxing, Jack, and Virgo who were approaching him with a gloomy expression. With his knowledge, although he does not know Liu Oxing, he knows Jack. Zephyr's teeth were clenched. Pirate, another hateful pirate. Virgo, are you a spy for the beast's pirates, you bastard? Virgo calmly wiped the wound on his face and said with a smile, My subordinates are fortunate to work for Lord Liu Oxing. Liu Oxing? Zephyr's pupils shrank when he heard the name. He had been staying at naval headquarters before, so it was impossible not to know Liu Oxing's name. This person claims to be a bigger threat than the four emperors and all kinds of heaven-defying inventions have caused headaches for both Sengoku and the world government. Even Dr. Vegapunk, who has wisdom beyond the 500 years of the world, is still ashamed of himself. Zephyr has a blast with a name. He never imagined that he would meet such a mysterious man today. Zephyr looked deeply at Liu Oxing. It's the trap you set, the one who ambushed the old man. He really deserves to have a genius brain that surpasses Vegapunk. The old man is a confession today. However, even if this old man dies, he will drag you all the heinous pirates to die together. Zephyr's face showed a crazy color, and suddenly he took out a glass vessel from his arms, which contained a purple rock. It is the explosive rock that is said to be comparable in power to ancient weapons. 113. The savior who destroys the world, the hero Black Arm Zephyr ends. Add, Zephyr, a former marine admiral who has long since stepped back into the background, has always held a detached position at marine headquarters, similar to Garp's. He knew every aspect of Marine's intelligence. Therefore, he knew very well that the sudden appearance of Liu Oxing, known as the Five Emperors, was by no means simple, at least not below him. Also, that Jack the Drow seems to have eaten more advanced monster cells. In the Battle of Dressrosa, he could go head to head with Seikazuki, and he is definitely an existence that can compete with him Zephyr. As for the final Virgo, Zephyr just played him. Although his strength has not yet reached the level of parity with him, there is no problem in competing in a short time. Under the siege of these three powerhouses, if placed at the peak, Zephyr may still have the confidence to escape, but with his body in a dire state, Zephyr had no choice but to die. The best result is to pull Liu Oxing and the three to die together. It was because of this realization that Zephyr's face showed madness, and he took out the explosive rock, intending to destroy the entire island. Even if not only Liu Oxing and other pirates died because of this, but also his student A. R. Yin and other Neo's Marine, Zephyr would not hesitate. Since the moment he betrayed Marine, Zephyr has been ready to sacrifice everything. Die with the old man, 
you unforgivable pirates. Zephyr looked up to the sky and laughed, madness flashing in his eyes. Then, without hesitation, he threw the explosive rock onto a crater not far away. Boom. An earth-shattering huge explosion sounded immediately. The flames were soaring, the smoke filled the air, and it was an apocalyptic scene. Such a terrible movement, even the G5 Marine and Nier Marine who were fighting on the coast noticed it. Smoker Smoker's face changed greatly. Oops, Mr. Zephyr used the blast rock, he's going to destroy the whole island, and Tashigai is still there. Smoker, worried about Tashigai's safety, turned into white smoke and flew towards the center of the island. But, his incorporeal smoky body was entangled by a black vine. Smoker had to stop and looked at the black vine in exasperation. It's armament Haki's coverage again, damn it. Everyone in the new world has this ability. Zephyr's student Bins walked up slowly and said, White Hunter Smoker, I heard about your reputation when I was at Marine HQ. You are also a student of Mr. Zephyr, but you have been at the entrance of the Grand Line for too long and your strength is behind the times. Smoker's mouth twitched. It was precisely because he knew this that he took the initiative to request to come to New World to exercise. Add. Smoker took a deep breath and suppressed his temper. Mr. Zephyr has detonated the crater. Everyone, including you near Marine, will be burned to death by the erupting lava. Aren't you afraid of death? Bins replied calmly. From the moment we followed Mr. Zephyr, we put our life and death aside for a long time. Furthermore, we deeply believe that Mr. Zephyr, since Mr. Zephyr chose this way of perishing with the enemy, it shows that he has a reason to do so. Smoker. We've already made up our minds to die with Mr. Zephyr. Smoker was completely stunned, speechless in shock. After a long time, he scolded in a low voice, you idiots who are willing to die for justice. 35. But there is no resentment towards Zephyr and other near marines in his heart, but he is more and more angry at the world government, the culprit behind all this. At the center of the island, Liu Xing was not surprised that Zephyr used the explosive rock outrageously, he had foreseen this step before he came. Therefore, he brought the rough-skinned Jack the Drow. Liu Xing's voice calmly said, Jack, block that crater with your body. 35. As soon as these words came out, the audience was stunned. Zephyr's eyes widened. His student Ai Yin had a look of disbelief. At this moment, little Tasha Guy, who was held in Liu Xing's arms, finally recovered from the shock of seeing Liu Xing before, and opened his mouth in surprise. Even Virgo swallowed a mouthful of saliva subconsciously. Looking at the crater that was erupting violent magma at the moment, Virgo felt a little panic in his heart. Later, Lord Liu Oxing won't let him also block the crater, right? Only Jack himself did not show the expression of shock and fear. As soon as Liu Oxing finished speaking, he ran towards the crater without saying a word. Roar. A terrifying roar resounded through the sky. Jack turned into a giant elephant with a height of several hundred meters and sat on the crater like a mountain. The hot magma and the roasted giant elephant's skin turned red. But at this level, it would take at least half a day for Jack, who has evolved into the phantom beast species, the Vajra Mammoth, to be completely cooked. Such a long time is enough for Liu Xing to solve the black calm Zephyr. Zephyr was stunned by Jack's actions at this moment. He felt that compared to Jack, his behavior just now was not crazy at all. Looking at Liu Xing who was walking towards him gradually, a wry smile appeared at the corner of Zephyr's mouth. You beasts pirates are really hidden dragons and crouching tigers. No, to be precise, your inventions are too heaven defying to exist in this world. Quality. Add. Zephyr suddenly felt a huge sense of powerlessness swelling up from the bottom of his heart. The AI in medicine he had taken before was about to expire, and his body would not be able to support it. It seems that this is the end of the day for the old man, and he can't even pull you back. Zephyr supported his increasingly heavier body with his robotic arms forcing himself to keep his body upright. Obviously, even at this point of desperation, Zephyr wasn't about to take it easy. As expected of the Admiral Black Arm Zephyr, Liu Xing stopped and said, Zephyr, although you are old, you still have the spirit of the world's top powerhouse. In order to express my respect for you, I will use my strongest moves to send you on your way. Liu Xing's words surprised Zephyr. He looked at Liu Xing in astonishment. The hatred for pirates in his eyes weakened a lot. Zephyr said, is this the mercy of the pirates? You are really different from the pirates I have seen before. Forget it, it is a pity to be able to see the strength of your five emperors, who is even more mysterious than the four emperors, before dying. Zephyr straightened up. He used all his vitality to activate the strongest armament Haki in his life, covering the mechanical arm. Shout out to Liu Oxing. Come on, boy. Liu Oxing put Tashigai down and pulled out Yan Mo from his waist. The moment Yan Mo unsheathed, the unparalleled Haki surged around Liu Oxing. Tashigai who had come to his senses, stared blankly at Liu Oxing's knife and thought to himself, is this the Yan Mo who is known as the Sword of Hell, the 21st worker of the Big Quick Sword, even the breath of the sword is enough to make people tremble. Tasha Guy then turned pale and looked at Liu Oxing in front of him, and how terrible is this man who can control Yan Mo? Tasha Guy couldn't imagine, but his body trembled slightly. Under the pressure of Liu Oxing's body, intentionally or unintentionally, 
She didn't even have the strength to escape. Liu Xing raised Yan Mo high, and a massive amount of Haki was injected into it, and then he chopped it down. Purgatory middle. Hades. This is a stronger sword skill than Purgatory Shura who fought against the Golden Lion at that time. That huge black sword wave left a deep ravine on the ground. Wherever you go, everything is destroyed. Zephyr felt an unprecedented crisis. All the muscles in his body trembled with excitement. Very good. Such a slash is really suitable for this old man's tomb. Add. Zephyr laughed majestically. Then the robotic arm covering his most powerful armament Haki punched against the black sword wave. Boom. A terrifying explosion sounded in an instant, and the violent wind blew both Aiyin and Tashigai away. Even the dark clouds in the sky have a tendency to crack. And when all the movement gradually ceased, on the ground, a huge pit has already appeared. Zephyr, who lost his robotic arm and was covered in blood lay at the bottom of the pit. Mr. Zephyr, Ain couldn't stop crying and crawled up to Zephyr. Liu Xing stepped a little and also came to Zephyr's side. Liu Xing said with a hint of sigh, you who have seen the ugliness of the world government, if you hadn't hated pirates so much, there might have been a slight chance of you joining the camp of my hundred beasts. Zephyr coughed up blood and said weakly, join the pirate camp, I never thought about that. Whether it's marine or pirates, your justice and evil are not good for the world. Zephyr turned his head hard and glanced at Liu Xing. However, the old, good for money, husband can feel that you seem to be different from other pirates. 55. Can you tell me what your ambitions are? Liu Xing's eyes were deep and he said without hesitation, I'm just a mediocre scientist, a collector of interest. When it comes to ambition, my wife Yamato said it is to create a world where everyone can eat. Oh, that's a great goal. And before this great goal can be achieved, I will destroy the world. Zephyr was shocked looking at Liu Oxing with an incredible and complicated gaze. Also staring at Liu Oxing with this kind of gaze, are Ai Yin and Tashikai. Zephyr lay on the ground with a thud, not speaking for a long time. But I don't know when, the corner of his mouth showed a smile, and whispered in a voice so weak to ultimate, do you want to be the savior who destroys the world? It's interesting. Ha ha, I have never heard of such an interesting ambition. Zephyr abruptly stretched out his remaining left hand, trying his best to face the sky as if to touch the clouds in the sky. I really want to see a world like that. The voice fell, and the arm fell. Zephyr closed his eyes forever. A generation of marine admiral, who has taught countless outstanding disciples, dedicated his family's life and his whole life to marine, but was finally betrayed by the world government. The heroic black arm Zephyr has come to an end. 114. Sengoku praises, the base chief Virgo has the appearance of admiral, add, the so-called marine and world government are just other types of pirates, they are even more hateful than pirates with a layer of hypocrisy, Liu Xing looked at Zephyr's body and murmured, Zephyr's disciple, Ain, the reversed fruit ability, burst into tears, dig a hole with both hands and bury Zephyr, even though her fingers were rubbed against the hard rock and covered in blood, she felt no pain at all, Liu Xing said to Ai Yin in a heartbeat, senior Zephyr has passed away, and Nia Marine has disintegrated. What are you going to do next? 35. Ain's dull eyes turned to Liu Xing, and she shook her head blankly. Liu Xing reached out to her and said in a gentle voice, Senior Zephyr's wish before his death was to see the future world. As his disciple, you should inherit his legacy. 99. Hearing this, Ai Yin's blank eyes immediately showed light, and then she stood up and said with a firm expression, Yes, I will inherit the legacy of Teacher Zephyr, and look at the future world you mentioned. Ai Yin put her hand on Liu Xing's and Liu Oxing smiled with satisfaction. Then, he raised the little Tashigai who was standing foolishly beside him with one hand and said to Virgo, the rest is up to you. Virgo knelt down on one knee and gave orders respectfully, yes, Lord Liu Oxing 183. Liu Oxing called Jack, who was betting on the crater with his body, and went around to the back of the island and left by boat. It wasn't until he could no longer see the volcanic island that Tashigai realized that he had been taken away by the five emperors Liu Oxing, this terrifying and mysterious man. What? Little Tashigai let out a scream. Let go of me. I'm going back to Marine. I'm going back to smoke a Commodore. Liu Xing looked at the little Liu Li who was in a panic in front of him with a little speechlessness. Add. I just reacted now. Can you be a little more cute? Liu Xing grabbed little Tashigai's thin white arm and said, That won't do. You won't be able to go back to Marine from now on. Little Tashigai's eyes revealed an expression of incomparable horror, and tremblingly said, you dot 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 are you a trafficker? Tashigai has heard before that there are many pirates in New World who like to sell people and make a lot of money. Could this mysterious five emperor Liu Oxing be such a pirate? Then she's really screwed this time. Thinking of the tragic experience after being sold as a slave, Tashigai's eyes instantly filled with tears. Women are made of water. This sentence is indeed true. Liu Oxing gave little Tashigai a shudder on the forehead, and said even more speechlessly, Bife. I'm not going to do something like that. Then why are you arresting me? Little Tashigai touched his swollen forehead and puffed out his mouth. Hey, this little girl is subconsciously selling her cuteness. Liu Xing became more and more satisfied with this marine's lark, and said with a smile, 
You know the identity of Virgo's undercover. How could I let you go back? Tasha Guy's eyes widened. Saga. That's why. Tasha Guy immediately showed an angry expression and pulled out Sire Shigya from his waist. But her body has shrunk. She is only seven or eight years old. And it took a lot of effort to hold Xiao Yishu. Tasha Guy said angrily. Do you think I will obey your pirate's orders? Even if I die, I will not yield to you. It is a very strong appearance. Liu Xing was not in a hurry. He took a sip of tea and said, Ad, I won't kill you, and I won't let you die. If you're going to kill yourself, I promise Smoko will die before you. Tasha Guy trembled all over, and Rain fell to the ground with a clatter during the night. The Smoker Commodore has been very kind to her. She has been under Smoker's care all these years. How could she have killed her benefactor? Tasha Guy knew that the man in front of him wasn't lying that he was perfectly capable of crushing the smoker commodore like an ant. It doesn't even need the man to do it himself. Just instruct the base commander of the G5 branch, Virgo, and the smoker commodore will die silently. Tasha Guy slumped on the ground, eyes full of despair, stared at Liu Oxing and shouted angrily, You're a demon, a villain, a bastard. Liu Oxing tasted tea slowly and leisurely, Don't say that, I'm just an interested collector. I like to collect all kinds of flowers and all kinds of beautiful birds. Volcanic Island Coast. With the return of Virgo and the announcement of the death of Black Arm Zephyr, Neo collapsed instantly, wounded and dead, and the rest were arrested by G5, including the lush fruit power user, Bins. Bins cried bitterly and asked, Where's Teacher Zephyr's corpse? Where's Ain? Virgo said lightly. Zephyr used explosive rock to cause the volcano to erupt, and both of them were burned to death by the lava, destroying their bodies. Hearing this, Bins was struck by lightning. Another one who was struck by lightning was Smoker. Smoker rushed to Virgo without a word, grabbed Virgo's tie, and shouted, What about Tasha guy, you bastard? Virgo stared at Smoker coldly, still indifferently said, We were burned to death by magma together. Smoker's eyes were red, and he raised his fist and hit Virgo's face, roaring angrily, You bastard, you didn't save Tasha guy, you ran back alone. But before his fist landed on Virgo's face, he flew out first and fell heavily on the ground dozens of meters away. Virgo withdrew his right foot, wiped the dust from his shoes, and said indifferently, Add, assault sir, next time, I will directly sentence you to death. Assaulting the officer is a felony. Virgo killed Smoker for this, and even Marine headquarters had nothing to say. Immediately, Virgo's majestic gaze swept over each G5 soldier, and a stern voice said, Take the prisoners and return to the base as a whole. Yes, Captain Virgoji. The Marines responded with an unprecedented loudness, because in their view, how terrifying it was that Captain Virgo G took down the former Admiral Black Arm Zephyr alone. Invisibly, Virgo's prestige among the G5 Marines has risen to a new level, far from being comparable to Smoker, who was kicked out by Virgo with one kick. Three warships of the G5 branch set sail and returned to the base. Virgo then had the captives be sent to Marine headquarters in Marinford, along with a book of good news that he himself wrote. Office of the Marshal Sengoku looked at the good news in disbelief, and was surprised that he didn't even hold the teacup in his hand. Crane who was also in the office, asked, what happened, did G5 suffer a big defeat, Garp also asked, is the damage of G5 serious, no wonder the two of them thought so, after all, they were old people at the same time as Zephyr, and they knew Zephyr's strength too well, it is by no means that a small branch base leader can win, at least Admiral must be dispatched, however, Sengoku's next words made them all tremble, no, the G5 didn't fail, they succeeded, annihilating Nia Marine, 35. Sengoku slapped the good news on the table heavily, and exclaimed with a heartfelt admiration, The base chief, Virgo, is brave and has great strength, and has the appearance of Admiral. 115. The sad reminder of Smoker, the retrograde fruit that is invalid for Liu Xing. Ad. G5 branch successfully annihilated near Marine. Base chief Virgo has the appearance of Admiral. Sengoku's words greatly exceeded Zheru and Garp's surprise, and it took the two of them a long time to react. Garp said, what about Zephyr, what happened to him? After all, they were sailors of the same era. They used to be close friends. Garp and Crane were most concerned about Zephyr's life and death. Sengoku sighed and said, Zephyr is dead. Zephyr used explosive rock, which caused the volcano to erupt, and the lava wiped out his entire body, Virgo said in his report. Garp sat down on the chair with a sad expression on his face tilde. Zephyr, you stubborn to death old man. Then he glanced sharply at Sengoku. Sengoku. This is all the fault of the world government. Why let that Edward Weibull join Shikibukai? Sengoku stood up and said, It's over now, it's pointless to say these things. Although the world government is indeed the culprit in this matter, the old man must report the results to them, because we are Marines. 35. Under the leadership of the world government, what role can personal justice play? The best Garp can do is to remain himself and not be the lackey of celestial dragons. Sengoku all the way to the Holy Land marry E. Joys. Come between the rites and meet the five elders. Sengoku didn't salute 
and he was clearly angry at Zephyr's death. Nia Marine has been eliminated, Zephyr is dead, are you satisfied now? Sengoku's tone was very cold. The five elders frowned, watch your attitude, Sengoku. Add, Sengoku turned around and left, saying, I just want to tell the five elders that this Zephyr incident has caused great dissatisfaction and shock within Marine. 35. If you're still counting on Marine to deal with the Beast's Pirates and Whitebeard Pirates, you'd better think it through when you make a decision later. The five elders looked at Sengoku's back with ugly expressions. One person slammed the table, it's too presumptuous. Another said, it's better to remove him as Marshal Marine and let Akai Nu take him. The other three five elders disagreed. No, Sengoku is so prestigious in Marine that there is no reason to replace him, and Lord Im won't agree. 99. Sengoku is unhappy with the five elders, and the five elders are unhappy with Sengoku. But in the current situation, they can only tolerate each other. The five elders looked at the good news on the table, and Virgo's name was imprinted in their eyes, making them remember it in their hearts. Marine Headquarters Marinford Admiral Okiji learned from Garp that Mr. Zephyr was killed in battle. He first went to meet the near Marine prisoners sent by Virgo, and then went to the New World G5 branch. He's here for Smoker. Smoker's body was bandaged and he was drinking in front of two burial mounds. Okiji patted Smoker on the shoulder and sat down too, glancing at the bandages on Smoker's body. Your injury was hit by Virgo? Smoker didn't respond, by default. Okiji said, don't conflict with the superior in the future, this is not the leg town where you used to be the boss. Smoker took a gulp of wine, clenched his fist and said, Virgo, that man is no good, Marine had better check him out. Okiji thought that Smoker was still haunted by Virgo because of Tasha Guy's death, so he sighed and said, Virgo made a great contribution to the extermination of Nia Marine this time. Marine Headquarters has promoted him to Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, and he is also the base chief of the G5 branch. Marshal Sengoku also values him very much. Hearing this, Smoker drank several liters of wine in one go, and roared angrily, Teacher Zephyr's death, Tasha Guy's death, I won't let him go, that bastard. Add, Okiji looked at the two tombs and said in a deep tone, Wouldn't it be cool to die for what you believed in? Look first, Smoker. The real culprit that makes Smoker feel so sick is now enjoying the moon. Looking at the moon, Liu Oxing thought of Garrett. Garrett in the state of the moon lion is really unforgettable. At this time, a slender figure approached Liu Oxing. My lord, your wine. Liu Oxing glanced at him. The figure has short blue hair, a delicate face with melon seeds, very white skin, and wears ultra short jeans, showing amazing long legs. It was Ain, a student of Zephyr. Liu Oxing took the wine and said, thank you. The moment he received the wine. Ai Yin touched his finger on the palm of his hand. Liu Xing raised his eyebrows, and his eyes showed a smile that was not a smile. Ai Yin's expression changed suddenly. Impossible. How could my regression fruit ability not work? Dot 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 for flowers middle dot. Liu Xing finished his drink slowly and said, Any special type of devil fruit ability, to be effective, has to outperform the opponent in terms of Haki. On this sea, only Haki is above all else. Hasn't Zephyr taught you before? Ain's face changed several times. It turned out that Haki, who was the man in front of her, was far above her, so her retrogressive fruit ability would be ineffective. Why do you do this? Liu Xing asked indifferently, aren't you going to inherit Zephyr's legacy? Ain was silent for a moment and then said, I want you to release that female marine named Ashikai. Liu Xing was surprised by this answer. Add, it seems that Ain was also a marine after all, and it is inevitable that he has sympathy for Tashikai. Liu Xing got up and walked to Ai Yin. He stretched out his palm and gently slid it on the girl's cheek. I'm a person who especially likes to collect, like flowers, like birds and like to keep beautiful things in the house and enjoy them slowly by myself. 39. Ai Yin's body trembled, and panic appeared in her beautiful eyes. She wanted to step back, but found she couldn't. In front of this man's haki, she was powerless to resist. Liu Xing's voice was gentle. Since you want to see the future world for Zephyr, you should come closer to me. Liu Xing picked up Ai Yin and walked to the room, asking, Does your retrogressive fruit have any effect on yourself? The next day, Liu Xing walked out of the room refreshed. Tashigai who had changed back to her twenties, came to Liu Xing angrily. You, you bad guy, what did you do to Sister Ai Yin? Liu Xing smiled and said, it's nothing. You should thank me, or you'll still look like a seven or eight year old girl. Those who are hit by the fruit of regression, want to return to the original state, only the ability to faint. Last night, Ain passed out. Tasha Guy was in a hurry and rushed into the room to take care of Ain. The two women have gotten along quite a bit during this period of time. Liu Xing called Jack, turn the bow and go to Punk Hazard. 35. Liu Xing hasn't visited since Punk Hazard was beaten by Jin and the Cybertronians. This time, it is possible to drop by and take a look at Gwing. 116. Teaching Tasha Guy Swordsmanship, Blackbeard and Ace, Prelude to Summit War. Add, Punk Hazard, the former secret research base of the world government, was later reduced to death due to the poison gas test of Caesar Caron. 
but the raw material sad of artificial devil fruit exists here, and the world government has not completely abandoned it. There was a fierce competition with a group of beasts that also needed raw materials. The result of the battle was, of course, that all the beasts were victorious, the secret weapon that the world government spent years researching, and all the ten pacifists were destroyed by the Cybertronians. Punk Hazard has completely become a war base for the beasts. The poisonous gas on the island was blown away by Jin's pterosaur wings. Today's Punk Hazard has become a lush and beautiful island again. When Liu Oxing went to the island, Yan Zanjin and Flupus Sasaki came to greet him together. Liu Oxing said to Jin, it's been a long time for you. It's too close to the marine headquarters, and I don't feel relieved without you guarding it in person. Given the distance between Punk Hazard and Marinford, Maureen would be able to reach 183 in half a day if he moved at full speed. Zero. Therefore, Liu Oxing must send a member of Admiral to guard here. Yan Calamity, who has already entered the threshold of the Imperial level, is the best choice. Coupled with the equally strong Sasaki, and the 200 strong Giver Corps, Punk Hazard can be said to be impregnable. Ember said respectfully, there are Cybertronians invented by the young master, we don't need to work very hard. 35. Jin had brought five Cybertronians with him. Now, four Cybertronians, located in the four directions of Punk Hazard, south, east, and north, constantly monitor the sea for any abnormalities. The last Cybertronian is located in the center of the island, ready for emergencies. The entire arrangement is rigorous, orderly and orderly, so it can be called a war base. Liu Xing is very satisfied. I went to see the sad production device again and improved it to make its production efficiency faster. The same day, Liu Xing had a night off at Punk Hazard. Ad. He held a banquet in the middle of the night with Jin, Sasaki, and the brothers of the Empowered Legion before returning to the room. To be precise, it's not his own room, but Tashigai and Ain's room. Liu Xing intends to place the two girls in Punk Hazard. After all, Wanokini already has Xiaozia and Garrett, and if they add two more girls, I'm afraid it won't be easy to hide from his wife Yamato. But in this way, Liu Oxing seems to be in trouble when meeting his own woman. Nami and Nokagao from Kokosa Village in East Blue, Perona from Terra Bark, Viola and Rebecca from Dressrosa, plus Tashigai and Dane from Punk Hazard. In the future, Liu Oxing may also save other beautiful girls. Liu Oxing, who was in the north of South Blue on this day, couldn't help but take care of him. Liu Oxing is generally good to his women and he doesn't want to leave any of them out in the cold. Fortunately, Liu Xing already had a solution for this. When the system is upgraded to the next level, he can make any door, and even if he is in Wanokini, he can go wherever he wants. This is the greatest benefit of any door. Liu Xing has been working hard to accumulate system points. The residence prepared for Tashigai and Ain is a very spacious courtyard. There are several rooms and a large courtyard. When Liu Xing arrived, he saw that Tashigai was holding Xiaoshu and was practicing swordsmanship desperately. Hi ha, hi ha, Tashigai's sword was slashing, stabbing, and slashing, all while shouting, extremely hard. In no time, I was dripping with sweat. Tashigai was about to take a break when he caught a glimpse of Liu Oxing out of the corner of his eye. His body tensed up, and he pointed his sword at Liu Oxing. You dot 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 what are you doing here? She looked extremely panicked, her face paled slightly, because she already knew what the man in front of her did to A. R. Yin. It was simply too terrifying. Liu Oxing approached, his voice was gentle, don't be afraid, I'm just here to see you. I just saw you practicing swordsmanship and found that your movements are a lot wrong. Why don't I teach you? 5. Tashigai turned pale and hurriedly shouted, no, I don't want you to teach. 35. Add. However, Liu Oxing touched the ground with both feet and appeared behind Tashigai the next moment. Liu Oxing stretched out his hand and held Tashigai's sword holding hand, with the other hand resting on Tashigai's waist. The whole person was pressed tightly, and said in the female marine's red ear, the sword is a powerful weapon for killing people. You should use your sword quickly, your eyes should be sharp, and your aura should be fierce. Hand in hand teach Tashigai how to use the sword. Tashigai started to panic. If it wasn't for Liu Xing's embrace, he would have fled. But slowly, she discovered that the man behind her was really teaching her swordsmanship, and it was extremely profound swordsmanship. Tashigai's beautiful eyes could not help revealing a complex light. What is this man going to do? Why really teach her this? My heart suddenly became a little chaotic. But Tashigai was a sword fanatic after all, and soon became obsessed with the swordsmanship taught by Liu Crossing. Before I knew it, an hour passed. Tashigai swung his sword suddenly, and cut down a big tree with his sword energy. She jumped up excitedly. My swordsmanship. My swordsmanship has improved more than progress, it is simply a leap. At this moment, a man's voice whispered in her ear, The way of the sword is broad and profound, you still have a long way to go, you can't be in a hurry. 39. The practitioners are also tired, let's go to rest. Silent all night. When Liu Oxing left this courtyard, Tashigai was lying on the couch with Ain, with tears on his face. Ain sighed, wiped Tashigai's face and said, We can't escape the clutches of that man, Sister Tashigai. 
99, Tasha Guy's red eyes cried out, he's so abominable. He was so good at teaching me how to practice swordsmanship last night, but in a blink of an eye, Ayn is a few years older than Tasha Guy and has seen more of the world. She probably already knew something about Liu O'Crossing, add, with a faint sigh. The kindness that a man treats to a woman has long been marked as a bargaining chip. The first half of the Grand Line. An island near Alabaster. Blackbeard Marshall Middle. D. Middle. Teach, who has found the four powerful crew members of Badgers, Lafayette, Vanukar, and Poison Q, is laughing wildly at this moment. The thief ha ha ha. The era of Whitebeard is about to end, and the future is the era of my Blackbeard. Ace, why don't you join Lao Tzu's team too? Standing opposite the Blackbeard Pirates. The sturdy young man wearing a hat and the white beard flag engraved on his back is Firefist Ace. Ace is the captain of the second division of the white beard pirates, and Blackbeard was his subordinate. But Blackbeard actually killed the fourth captain Sachi for a mere devil fruit. How could Ace tolerate it? Despite the dissuasion of the other captains of the white regiment, he insisted on pursuing Blackbeard alone. Finally, in the first half of the Grand Line, Blackbeard caught up. Hearing that Blackbeard actually invited him to join the opponent's team. Ace couldn't help sneering disdainfully. Teach, you are really arrogant in 5.4. The future is your time? Oh, ridiculous. You will die here today. Snapped. There was a gunshot, and the sniper Vanukar opened fire. The bullet pierced through Ace's body, bringing up wisps of flames. Vanukar, it's useless. Don't waste your bullets. Blackbeard sneered. Ace is a Logia Meramera fruit capable person, and even in my previous Whitebeard pirates, his strength was at the top. Firefist Ace twisted his neck and stretched his muscles. Teach. Since you know my strength, don't resist, maybe I can make your death easier. Thief ha ha ha. Blackbeard laughed wildly. Ace, your Mera Mera fruit is indeed very powerful, but the devil fruit that Lao Tzu took from Sachi is Logia's strongest dark fruit. Your flame, in the face of absolute darkness, is an insignificant little flame. Understood. Ace, 117. Blackbeard's plan, Im's emphasis on Liu Oxing. Pluton's whereabouts. Add. Firefist Ace's Ace showed cold killing intent. A fiery flame burned on him. Teach. You're a hopeless bastard. 35. Fire punch. Ace suddenly shot and punched. A monstrous flame shot out from his fist. Blackbeard's eyes widened. His crew, Lafayette, Badgers, and others did not react at all. Flames swept through them. What? Blackbeard screamed and rolled on the ground. His physique is very special. He can eat two devil fruits, but the pain his body suffers is twice that of an ordinary person. As we all know, Mera Mera fruit can't burn people to death. Blackbeard and his crew quickly got up, except for a bit of grey on his face. There is no serious problem. Blackbeard gasped, staring at Ace. Ace, you can't hold your breath as always. Whitebeard never told you, you can't do great things with such a character. Whitebeard still wants to push you to the position of One Piece. I think he is old and confused. You, before Blackbeard could finish speaking, Ace let out a roar. A bastard like you doesn't deserve to mention Daddy 18's name. Firefist again. Lafayette, Badgers and others hurriedly avoided. Although this flame can't burn people to death, it still hurts. Add. Blackbeard didn't dodge but stretched out a pitch black palm. Ace, today I will teach you a lesson. 35. Dark water. The dark palm was aimed at the flame, and it absorbed all the huge flame. Immediately after, Blackbeard aimed the other palm at Ace. Ace's expression changed suddenly. He found that his body was out of control and flew towards Blackbeard automatically. Boom. Blackbeard slammed his fist into Ace's stomach. Boom. Ace was smashed into a wooden house more than 10 meters away, and was extremely embarrassed. See clearly, Ace. Blackbeard opened his two pitch black palms, smoked black smoke all over his body, and laughed wildly. This is the power of dark fruit, which can nullify the power of all demon fruit power. Your flames have no meaning at all in front of Lao Tzu. Dark fruit is called the most vicious devil fruit ever, and it is extremely special. It can invalidate other devil fruit abilities and directly attack the body of the Logia capable person. In this regard, it is a bit like armament haki. Firefist Ace wiped the blood from the corners of his mouth, his face ugly. Dark fruit's bizarre abilities are beyond his expectations. Come on little ones, and grab Ace. Blackbeard is a completely non-washu person, although he may be able to kill Ace alone, it will take a lot of effort, so why not besiege him if he can? Do whatever it takes to achieve your goals, this is Blackbeard's life creed. When the Blackbeard pirates were all five, even though Ace was very strong, Mera Mera Fruit was restrained by Dark Fruit, and he was quickly defeated. See stone handcuffed by Blackbeard. Badgers looked at the fainted Firefist Ace and asked, Ad, Captain, won't you kill this guy? If you keep him, Whitebeard will definitely come to save him, then it will be troublesome. Although the ambition of the Blackbeard pirates is to conquer the whole world, the team is still in the development stage after all. In the face of Whitebeard's reputation as the strongest man in the world, he was extremely apprehensive. Blackbeard smiled slyly, no, Whitebeard won't come to us, only to Marine, I'll give Ace to Marine in exchange for Shikai Bukai's place. Lafayette Road, there is no shortage of places for Shikai Bukai now 
and the guy who called himself Whitebeard's son was also vacated by Doflamingo. At the mention of this, Blackbeard was still quite annoyed. He was overjoyed to hear the news of Doflamingo's death because he finally got the chance to join Shikibukai. But Blackbeard didn't expect that before he could act, the Shikibukai position would be robbed by someone else. An exasperated Blackbeard had no choice but to think of something else. And that's why he came to this island not far from Alabaster. Blackbeard said in a frantic voice, create a place without a place. I've already figured it out. That sand crocodile did a lot of damage to Alabaster. Let's go and pull him off his horse and give ace to Marine. Will Marine still give me the title of Shikibukai? 99. Hearing Blackbeard's plan, Badgers and others applauded. Captain, what a great idea. I heard that the sand crocodile also ate a monster cell. I have long wanted to see it. The Holy Land marry e joys at the same moment. After meeting Sengoku, the five elders went to see Lord Im. Lord Im sat on the huge throne that should have been vacant. This man is extremely mysterious. In addition to the five elders, not even the commander-in-chief of the sea, land and air Kong, the marshal of marine Sengoku, and the major allied nations of the world government are unaware of his existence. The five elders, the so-called master, the highest authority in the world will bow down when they see this person. The five elders knelt and reported all the recent events to Lord Im, including Redhead's meeting with Whitebeard, Punk Hazard's battle between the Cybertronians and the Pacifists, and Neo Marine, who just learned of Virgo's annihilation of Zephyr. Add three major things, for an existence like him, only one is concerned, that is, the Cybertronians, to be precise, Liu Oxing, the inventor behind Cybertronian. Have you caught that guy? Im came out, and the voice was very hollow. The five elders, who knew who the guy Lord Im was talking about, lowered their heads even lower. Sorry, Lord Im, that man has been hiding in Wanokuni, with the blessing of Kaido of the Beasts, we can't catch him. Liu Xing did not hide in Wanokuni all the time, on the contrary, he went to many places during this time. Sky Island, East Blue, Lugtown, Terra Barks, etc. 183. It's just that the five elders couldn't detect Liu Xing's trace, and even Liu Xing's true face is still unknown. Although Im didn't respond, the sense of oppression spreading in the air made five elders sweat coldly. High above, the old monster Yimu, who has lived for an unknown number of years, why does he attach so much importance to Liu Oxing? Even more important than Redhead, Whitebeard, Zephyr? The fundamental reason is that Liu Oxing's heaven defying inventions made this mysterious Lord Yimu feel a great threat. This kind of threat is so great that the Rocks of the Year and the Roger of the Pirate King of the Year cannot be compared with it, even. Liu Xing's reward order was placed in front of the desk at the moment. Yimou inserted a small knife between the eyebrows of Liu Xing's photo and said in a majestic tone, Whatever it takes, kill this man. Also, you have to hurry up with the ancient weapon search plan! Exclamation mark 35. The Cybertronians have crushed the pacifists that the world government has spent years researching. In terms of weapons and equipment, the world government has fallen far behind the beast's pirates. How could him tolerate this? And if you want to make up for this gap, in addition to letting Vegapunk research more advanced weapons, you can only find the legendary ancient weapon. Yes, Lord Im. The five elders fell on their knees to lead. After returning, the five elders immediately gave the CP0 and CP9 agencies a death order. Use your best efforts and the fastest speed to find the ancient weapon Pluton. 118. Cyrus eats the monster cell. Liu Oxing goes to Alabaster. Add. After Liu Oxing left the courtyard of Tashigai and Dai Yin, he took Jack to dress Rosa again. The distance between Punk Hazard and Dress Rosa is not far, and the two places are in a relationship of mutual assistance. In case Marine attacked one of them, the other could be supported from behind. If Marine attacked together, the Wanokuni group of animals, including Liu Oxing's father-in-law Kaidos, would attack. At that time, it will evolve into a huge war that no one can control. Knowing this, Sengoku and the Five Elders never made up their minds to deploy large-scale troops against Punk Hazard and Dress Rosa. After all, Marine's enemies are far more than the Beast's pirates. Whether the other four Emperor's regiments would take advantage of Marine's battle with the Hundred Beasts regiment and attack the empty Marinford was something they had to guard against. In short, the current situation is in a strange balance. As long as the Beast group is no longer aggressive, Marine will not easily start the war. As for him's order, Kill Liu Oxing at all costs. The five elders could do nothing about it. They haven't even seen Liu Oxing's true face until now. How can they kill Liu Oxing? Are all the spies of CP0 and CP9 sent to Wanokuni to assassinate them? What's the difference between that and dying? Therefore, the main action of the five elders is to find the ancient weapon Pluton. And this, five elders had planned many years ago. They sent CP9's Rob Lusai and others early to lurking in the seven waters waiting for an opportunity to steal Pluton's drawings. The five elders have called Rob Lusai and asked CP9 to get the drawings. Within half a month, Liu Xing doesn't know about these are things yet. At the Smile Factory, he inspected the manufacturing progress of the artificial devil fruit. At present, the daily production volume is 10, 
and the success rate of people acquiring abilities is about four-fifths. In other words, the hundred beasts can produce seven or eight more artificial demon fruit powers every day. Add. These people eat the monster cells again, and then go to the gravity room to practice, and their strength can instantly reach the level of the original flying six cells, which can be described as appalling. At the moment, the hundred beasts core has reached two thousand members of the giver core with such strength. With the strength of these 2,000 people, it is enough to wipe out all the hostile forces in the New World, including other four Emperor's regiments. But it is not enough to attack Marine Headquarters and World Government. Mainly because Marine and World Government have too many high-end combat power. A top-level powerhouse can at least be worth a thousand givers. As for the top powerhouses like Marine, roughly speaking, there are Sengoku, Gub, and Three Admiral. Also, on the World Government side, the Commander-in-Chief of the Sea, Land, and Air, Kong and the five elders are estimated to have decent strength. The last mysterious Lord Yimu is even more difficult to know. That's why Liu Oxing gave Mark Oxiandu at the Xiandu auction. Liu Oxing wanted Whitebeard to recover almost to the peak of his combat power, so he could test the depths of a wave of world government for him. If it can kill one or two top powerhouses, it will be even better. Not much gossip. It's just that Liu Oxing went to Dress Rose's palace after inspecting the Smile Factory. The palace is located on the platform of the king. The king's terrace is a tall mountain with several floors. The palace is at the highest level, and in the middle there is a sea of flowers full of sunflowers. If Viola is a passionate and melancholy violet, then her niece Rebecca is a sunflower with pure sunshine. Now, Viola, Rebecca, including Viola's father, King Liku, Rebecca's father, Cyrus, and the princess of the little people, Manch Harry, are all playing in the sea of flowers. Seeing Liu Oxing, except Viola, all bowed to Liu Oxing. Lord Liu Oxing. Liu Oxing killed Do Flamingo, eradicated the Dong Quixote family, and made policies that greatly improved the lives of the people of Tokushima. How could they not be grateful to Liu Oxing? Add, even though King Liku and Cyrus already knew that Liu Oxing had taken their daughter absurdly, at best they were a little dissatisfied, and gratitude still prevailed. Liu Oxing smiled and asked everyone to get up. He caught a glimpse of Cyrus' broken leg, took out a fairy bin from his bosom, and said to Cyrus, Eat it and your legs will recover. 35. Cyrus suddenly looked happy. The original fairy bin auction was held in Dress Rosa, who doesn't know the magic of fairy beans. Cyrus took the fairy bins and ate them. Within seconds, the leg he had lost had grown back. Brother, thank you. Rebecca ran to Liu Oxing and grabbed Liu Oxing's sleeve. Her big eyes full of gratitude and admiration. Liu Oxing pinched Rebecca's white and tender face and said with a smile, You're my sister, what's there to thank you for? Liu Oxing asked Cyrus again. Do you want to eat monster cells? With your physique, you should be able to withstand tiger level monster cells, but after eating, your appearance will become weird. Cyrus once competed in the arena and won thousands of games, known as the undefeated god of war. The physique and strength are quite acceptable. Cyrus nodded without hesitation and said, I want to eat. As a soldier and a father, as long as he can protect the country and his daughter, what is the point of becoming a monster? Cyrus' greatest pain in his life was to see Rebecca's mother killed by the Don Quixote family. But there was nothing he could do. That night, when he was still a toy body, he hugged Scarlet's body, unable to express his sadness and pain. Nothing is more desperate than that. A man who has experienced such pain, the consciousness of wanting to become stronger, is by no means comparable to ordinary people. Liu Oxing took out a tiger-level monster cell, handed it to him, and said, not only monster cells, if you want to eat artificial devil fruit, you can also go to Fuzfu and the others to ask for it. Thank you, Mr. Liu Oxing. Cyrus was overjoyed and grateful. Add, Rebecca is more and more grateful to Liu Oxing. Even Viola, who has always been angry with Liu Oxing, glanced at Liu Oxing with a hint of emotion. And this touch of emotion quickly turned into embarrassment, because Liu Oxing actually took her and Rebecca's hands and walked to the highest palace in front of everyone's eyes, and said something. Let's go play cards. Play cards? Add one dollar carrot. Ugh, what a liar. When Viola and Rebecca left the flower sea, their ears were all red. Liu Oxing entered the palace at noon and did not leave until the next morning. He had a great time playing this card. Of course, the winner is undoubtedly Liu Oxing. Good money, Viola and Rebecca. Losers have nothing on them. Liu Oxing called Jack the Drill and was about to return to Wanokini when suddenly Virgo called. He said something that made Liu Oxing raise his eyebrows. Lord Liu Oxing. The world government is making the CP agency all out to find the ancient weapon Pluton, trying to use Pluton against our beast's pirates. Liu Oxing's thoughts were racing in his head, but his face was still indifferent and calm Kaido's, understood. You don't have to participate in this matter, otherwise your identity will be easily exposed. Your task is to improve your strength, make a few more contributions, and strive for the position of Marine Admiral in the future. 99. Yes, Lord Liu Oxing. Hang up the phone. Liu Oxing said to Jack. Don't go back to Wanokuni for now, go to Alabaster on the first half of the Grand Line. Also, go and get Fosfu. As you order, young master. 
39. Although Jack is naive, it is a coincidence that he is obedient. Without asking why at all, they called Fuzfu, and the three of them went. 119. The tragedy of Alabaster, the sand crocodile who likes to play with people's hearts. Add. One of the goals of Liu O'Crossing's participation in the Zephyr eradication was to see if the power of the explosive rock was really comparable to the ancient weapon as in the legend. Judging by the explosive rock that Zephyr threw at the time, it was indeed powerful enough to destroy a large mountain. But compared with the ancient weapon, which is said to be able to destroy a country with one blow, there should be still a lot of gaps. The world government must also know that the explosive rock alone cannot make up for the gap in weapons and equipment between them and the hundred beasts, so they came up with the idea of ancient weapon. Liu Xing naturally couldn't let world government succeed. As a traveler, Liu Xing knew that the world government had long since set up CP9 spies in the Seven Waters. But the Seven Waters only have Pluton drawings, the real Pluton is in Alabaster. To be precise, the historical text of Pluton's whereabouts is in Alabaster. About this, the world government should not know. Otherwise, they would have already attacked Pluton, and they would not have allowed Crocodile, the Sand Crocodile, to make waves in Alabaster. What's more, Nico Robin, the son of the devil who is a great threat to the world government, is also in Alabaster. All indications are that the world government has no idea what is going on in Alabaster. That's why Liu Oxing is going to Alabaster first. Liu Oxing plans to take Alabaster into his hands first, then go to the Seven Waters City to get Pluton's 183 paper, and by the way, kill the CP9 group of world government scumbags. Fuzifu had also been a spy for CP9 before, so Liu Oxing called Fuzifu. After hearing Liu Oxing briefly describe his plan, Fuzfu's face was full of excitement and bloodlust. CP9, those lackeys of the government, I will peel off their skins little by little. Fuzzy Fury hates world government too strongly, and even hates the CP9 he worked for before. This can't blame him, after all, it was impossible for the red hair to steal the Nika fruit back then, and Fuzzy Fu didn't have the strength of Admiral, so no one could stop the red hair pirates. But the world government just put him in jail and wanted to put him to death. How could Fuzzy Four not hate it in his heart? Add, after a day or two, Liu Xing. Jack, and Fosfu resisted Alabaster. All three put on bamboo hats, on the one hand to resist the heat of the desert climate, on the other hand to try to hide their whereabouts. After all, the looks of Jack and Fosfu had already been registered with Marine. Although Liu Oxing's true face has not been revealed, the reward for catching him alive is as high as five billion baileys. Liu Oxing is not afraid of the trouble if he happens to be recognized, but too many ants are annoying. So be cautious. However, although Liu Oxing and the three were cautious, Another group of strange-looking guys entered Alabaster swaggeringly. These guys are the Blackbeard Pirates who plan to take the place of Crocodile Shikai Bukai, the Sand Crocodile. Alabaster Palace at the same moment, on the high throne, King Cobra should have been seated. At this time, there was a man with a golden hook in his left hand, a cigar in his mouth, and a contemptuous expression. And King Cobra knelt at his feet. On both sides of the palace, there are senior carders of the Baroque Work Society. Counted to Miss Sunday Devil's son Nico Robin. Mr. One Daz Bonies, who is able to cut fruit quickly, Mr. Two Clone Clone Fruit Ability Bentham, Mr. Dot Three Wax Wax Fruit Ability Mr. Dot Three and other powerful cutters. The reason why they gathered here was because of the call of the President Crocodile. Since Crocodile successfully won and ate a monster cell in the last monster cell competition, his strength has increased greatly, and his ambition has also expanded. Coupled with the increasingly tense situation in New World, the reputation of the Hundred Beasts is getting louder and louder, and even the White Beard Pirates which once defeated him badly, has changed. Add, and Do Flamingo, who is also Shikai Bukai with him, actually died. All signs show that the world may be about to riot, and the big time is coming. In the tide of this era, the Sand Crocodile is certainly not reconciled to silence. He's going to be the trendsetter of the times, he's going to defeat White Beard, and he's going to be the ultimate king. One Piece. To achieve this ambition, he must acquire the legendary ancient weapon Pluton. That's why he's been lurking in Alabaster for years. But there has been no progress, Bife in this matter, and so far Crocodile has not even seen the shadow of the historical text. Having lost his patience, he took control of the palace by force, tied up King Cobra, and pressed Pluton's whereabouts. San Crocodile Crocodile said in a contemptuous voice, Cobra, please tell us the historical text and the whereabouts of Pluton, you should know Lao Tzu's methods. Cobra was already covered with bruises and wounds, and he had obviously suffered in human torture, but he was still unyielding. Looking up at Crocodile, he gritted his teeth and said, don't think about it. I will never let you, a demon, get the ancient weapon. Even if you die, you don't want to get any clues about Pluton from me. 5. Ha 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 ha. Crocodile laughed disdainfully. Cobra, you are so naive, I won't kill you. 35. Your king's army and Alabaster's rebel army are about to fight, wouldn't it be more interesting to play like this? By the way, your daughter Vivi is discouraging both parties, she should be very helpless at this time, ha ha ha. But the more helpless is yet to come, 
because Lao Tzu will not only play with the people of Alabasta, but will eventually kill her too. Cobra, are you saying this is crueler than death? Every time Crocodile said a word, Cobra's face paled. By the end, there was no blood at all. Add, Cobra Muse was splitting, his eyes were red, and he let out a shrill roar. Crocodile, you devil, you bastard. Come at me if you need anything. Don't hurt the people of Alabaster. Don't hurt my daughter. Crocodile's smile became more and more disdainful and contemptuous, like a cat playing with a mouse. His ferocious crocodile. What he likes to do most is to play with his opponent with a smile. You use dancing powder and deliberately keep Alabaster from reigning for three years in all areas except the capital. Countless people in those areas died due to drought. Thus the rebel army was born. They do not know that this is all Crocodile's conspiracy, to put all hatred on King Cobra, and therefore to attack the capital. The king's army loyal to Cobra naturally had to resist, and the civil war started. In order to reveal the true face of Crocodile's daughter, Neferutli Vivi infiltrated the Baroque works as an undercover agent. Crocodile already knew this kind of thing. It's just with the mentality of playing games that I didn't expose Vivi. Now that the king's army and the rebel army are about to go to war, Crocodile deliberately asks Vivi to dissuade him, and he wants to appreciate the despairing look on the latter's face. He even wanted to use this to threaten Cobra and let him tell Pluton's whereabouts. This method is very effective, and sure enough, Cobra's face shows struggle and pain. I believe it won't be long before he can't hold on anymore. Crocodile thought triumphantly. But right now, a little guy from a Baroque work club suddenly ran in in a panic and shouted, No, Mr. President, a pirate has entered Alabasta and is heading towards the palace. They seem to be the Blackbeard pirates who killed the fourth captain of the Whitebeard ship, Thatch. 120. Robin's plan, the insolent Blackbeard, Liu sings Oriole behind, Add Crocodile on the throne frowned but then returned to his usual contempt and disdain. Crocodile sneered with a cigar. That guy teach, what is he called Blackbeard, when Lao Tzu challenged Whitebeard, he was just an inconspicuous kid, and now he dares to break into Lao Tzu's territory without authorization. 99. Crocodile once challenged Whitebeard and saw Blackbeard. At that time, Blackbeard was still a member of the second team, with an honest and honest appearance, and he was not well known. That's nothing compared to Crocodile who rose to fame by fighting Douglas Bullet on Roger's ship at the age of 20. Therefore, Crocodile completely ignored Blackbeard. He glanced at the guarders of his Baroque work club and said, You, who is going to bring the heads of the Blackbeard pirates to see me? Crocodile didn't even plan to see Blackbeard, only letting his men do the trick, thinking that would be enough. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three stood up, President, leave such trivial matters to me. After that, he walked outside the palace gate. Nico Robin looked at the back of Mr. Dot Three leaving. A strange light flashed in his blue-black pupils. Unlike the conceited crocodile, the book-ready and knowledgeable Robin has seen the secrets about Blackbeard. Those secret rumors say that Blackbeard ate the most ferocious devil fruit, Dark Fruit, master of the power of darkness in Lodia. And it seems that before eating devil fruit, he scratched the current four emperor's red-haired shanks with his claws. And this person has been lurking on the Whitebeard pirate ship for decades, and his scheming, ambition, and means must not be underestimated. Nico Robin doesn't think Blackbeard is something that Mr. Three can handle alone. But she didn't remind Crocodile. Although she is in the Baroque Work Club, her status is second only to the President Crocodile's Miss Sunday, but that is just a cover-up, a false name. Nico Robin just used Crocodile Shikibukai's name to avoid the pursuit of world government and marine. At the same time, add, Crocodile just took advantage of her ability to understand the historical text to find the ancient weapon Pluton. The two sides are mutual use of the relationship, and Nico Robin, who is far less powerful than Crocodile is absolutely dominated and controlled in this exploited relationship. Of course she wouldn't be so loyal to Crocodile. So she remained silent, intending only to watch the fight between Blackbeard and Crocodile. Crocodile didn't know Nico Robin's thoughts, and he continued to interrogate Cobra. At the same time, Liu Xing, who entered the Alabaster Desert, sensed a strange and extremely uncomfortable aura. This dark feeling, like a vermin hiding in the shadows, is nauseating. Liu Xing's eyes looked in the direction of the breath that made him extremely uncomfortable. His eyes flickered slightly. Although no figure was seen, he had probably guessed who it was. Counting the timeline, that BLCKMN was indeed hiding in the first half of the Grand Line. It's just kind of interesting to be in Alabaster at the same time as him. Liu Xing's mouth twitched, and his footsteps went in that direction. Behind him, Jack and Fosfu, followed closely behind. Soon they came to a dilapidated town. The town is dilapidated and not a single resident is seen. Obviously unusual. Liu Xing, who is a traveler, knows that the residents of this town are probably all going to participate in the civil war between the Alabaster King's army and the rebel army. In the center of the town, stood a few strange figures. Five of them belonged to the same camp, and the other guy with his hair tied into the word three was on the opposite side of the five. You are the Blackbeard Pirates. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three said, Ad. Lord President asked me to take your heads back. 
you can just grab your hands, or you will enjoy the pain of becoming a wax man. He is a wax wax fruit capable person, and his strength ranking in the Baruch Work Club is second only to the President Crocodile, Mr. One and Mr. Two, and he is still quite strong. At least in the first half of the Grand Line, Mr. Three belongs to the strong with a name and a surname. However, Crocodile's ego made him pick the wrong opponent this time. Thief ha ha ha. Blackbeard raised his head and laughed loudly, and said to Badgers and Lafayette on the left and right, such a small person, how dare to talk to me like this? Ha 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 ha. It seems that my Blackbeard's reputation is not loud enough. Badgers squeezed his fists and said with a wicked smile, Captain, let me kill this guy. No, don't kill him. 35 Blackbeard waved his hand and said, Leave him a little life, go and report to that sand crocodile, I am Blackbeard, don't underestimate me. Understood, Captain. 99 Badgers rushed towards Mr. Three suddenly. Dot. Ask for flowers. Mr. Three has been shocked by the conversations of Blackbeard and others. Are these people so sturdy that they don't even care about the president? But he had no time to think about it, because Badgers was faster than he imagined, and he was in front of him in a blink of an eye. Mr. Three was shocked and quickly made a shield with wax. But it was useless at all, and it was broken by a punch from the infinitely powerful Badgers. Mr. Three was shot and flew out and was seriously injured. His expression was extremely frightened, and he no longer had the confidence he had just now. Go and report to that sand crocodile. You bastard. 35. Badgers grinned wildly. Mister was even more frightened, and hurriedly ran away. After this encounter, Blackbeard's group became more and more fierce and swaggered towards the capital of Alabaster. Ad. Liu Xing saw the scene that just happened in his eyes. Dot dot oh oh. As he expected, the dark aura that made him extremely uncomfortable was emanating from Blackbeard. Jack Kern said, Young master, do you want me to kill these guys? Since Jack came out of Wanokuni with Liu Xing, apart from blocking the crater with his butt, he hadn't had a fight yet and his hands were itchy for a long time. He didn't know Blackbeard and others at all. But since the other party appeared in front of him, let's fight first. Liu Xing said, no, it's not time to kill them yet, that Blackbeard is still useful to me. Summit War is an important part of Liu Xing's plan, and Blackbeard was an integral part of Summit War. Therefore, although Liu Xing did not have the slightest affection for Blackbeard, this was not the time to kill Blackbeard. Follow up and see what they're coming to Alabaster for. Liu Xing is very curious about Blackbeard's purpose in coming to Alabaster. According to his memory, it seems that Blackbeard has never been to Alabaster in the original book, and even if he has been, he certainly did not go deep. But looking at the direction Blackbeard and the others are heading, it is clear that they are heading to the capital of Alabaster. There, but the sand crocodile crocodile's lair. Is Blackbeard for the ancient weapon Pluton, or for the crocodile Shikai Bukai position? If it is the former, Liu Oxing will kill Blackbeard immediately, even if it affects the progress of Summit War. He would never let Blackbeard get such a powerful weapon as the ancient weapon. If it is the latter, then Liu Oxing is just sitting on the sidelines, and he might as well enjoy a good show of dog bites dog. As the so-called mantis catches cicadas, the Oreo lives in Huaguang. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.